On our last episode, we tested Sue's boyfriend to see if he was a gold digger. Stop. <laughs> we sent out an email to several different boyfriends, offering them the opportunity to make a lot of cash if they slept with very old women. These four men replied requesting more information, and today, their girlfriends are going to watch to see if they'll actually go through with it. I pretended to be the interviewer and explained to them in great detail just exactly what the job entails. What is she looking for? If you're like willing to go on her, she'll pay you like. <laughs> On the last episode, I thought Sue's boyfriend passed our test. Oh, I mean, I think that deserves a little hand clap right there because he technically turned it down. <laughs> but the other girls had a different opinion. You would do it if they were younger girls? Yes. <laughs> I would. You think your girlfriend would get mad at that? So what? Did he even pass? I don't even think he passed because he said that if the girl was younger, he would do it. If you'd like to see that episode, follow the link in our description or click the card above. Today, we continue with the next girlfriend, Daisy, and her boyfriend, Edgar. We are back for round two. We are now sitting here with Daisy, who is putting her boyfriend, Edgar, to the test. Well, I'm super excited because I know he's going to pass, like, 100%. Was I intimidated by Daisy? A little. I mean, I'm usually the cute blonde in the room, so when I saw her, she was acting like she was the pretty one. I for sure know he's going to pass. He'd be stupid to uh, to cheat on someone like me, so. <laughs> okay, why is that? He works at the restaurant that my dad owns, so that would be bad for his job. He would be really freaking stupid. I don't mean to talk sh but I'm definitely the hottest one here. And I can tell they're all really intimidated, so they all look up to me. I'm hot, I'm rich, I'm blonde, I got a banging bod. He would be a fool. She thinks she's the sh because her dad's rich. <laughs> Hopefully this is gonna simmer down her little ego that she has going on because her boyfriend definitely cheated on her. And what if he doesn't pass? Then I would take back my car. So what kind of car do you drive? Mercedes. Can you have a car? Is it yours or your dad bought it for you? Okay, well my dad bought it for me. Daisy was cool. I mean, she invited us to her dad's restaurant this weekend. We should hang out after this. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> we go out to restaurant. Yeah. I'm definitely not hanging out with her. Daisy's loaded. So after seeing your boyfriend, how do you think her boyfriend's gonna do? I hope he'll make the same right decision. Awesome. Sue thinks her man won, but barely. Honey, barely. I hope he's gonna do better. Yeah. Hey, Edgar? I don't want to bother you. Are you sorry talking to somebody else? Her boyfriend is so fine. Monique's been giving me these eyes this entire time, and I'm just like, there's no way your man is gonna pass. Like, they're all gonna fail. I'm curious what that email man is. It's kind of, it's not for everyone, so you know, obviously, uh, we wanted to invite you to kind of explain to you. We work with a bunch of older, wealthy clients that are women. And they're like late 60s, 70s. I think our oldest one's like 83, and they pay money, good money, to like go out on dates. Jennifer Lopez, you know, when she's dating dudes in their 20s. And like Jennifer Lopez? No, no, no. They still have a picture. She's asking a lot of questions. Why are you still here? Leave. They do pay good money though, man. But like this one, Meredith, she's 72. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's out there. Oh my god. Who is this frequent customer? Meredith? She's gross. Oh my god, the old lady, I was dead. I didn't mean to laugh in front of her face. What's the payments? It's 1500 bucks, and that'll get to him like a date. Meredith, she'll pay you like $5,000 to have like a night with her. How far are we talking about with this infection <laughs> stuff? Man? So like, she wants the real deal, you know what I mean? The real deal. She's older, so like, she yeah. can't actually have like Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, you kill her. Exactly. Probably kill her. <laughs> if you like, go get <laughs> her and stuff. <laughs> I know, man. I've seen her pay as much as like twenty thousand dollars for a night. Twenty thousand for a night? Um, um, and what? Just like point out. Yeah, pretty much. Like sometimes she likes to record. Like she'll, like, you can wear a blindfold or something so that way they can't like recognize you. But she, it's funny, you kind of look like a buddy of mine named Kobe Person. You look just like him, man. What? But he actually started off doing this. Really? Yeah. Before he does what he does now, but what does he do now? He's like an entrepreneur, I guess. Now. Yeah, Have you heard that he still does it? Really he's just a little bit more low key about it, so people don't know. Awesome. Have you ever been with an older woman before? Not, not that old. Man. How old are you right now? 27. What's the oldest you've like been with? Probably like 40. How old were you at the time? I was like 22. Yeah. So 18 years old, right? Yeah. What's the privacy thing? What's the secrecy Uh, Think of like Uber, you know, like the older wealthy lady will pay us. We hold the money. You guys go out on your date. At the end of the day, you guys both report back that everything went well. Then we pay you out directly. Do you guys take a percentage of it or? Yeah, we take 10%. Just like Uber pretty much. Do I get like a tip or something? Like, a tip? Like a tip, yeah. 
chances are you'll most likely be the one giving them the tips. That's for certain. It just seems too easy. Why is this fun with the door there? Like, yeah. Cut, it's too easy. Shut the no, hell no. I actually used to do this myself, so. You used to do it? Yeah. What's your experience with it, man? Like, <laughs> it's kind of like this, like girls do it all the time. No, it's, just like, it's freaking easy, man. It's, it's easy. Throw an extra in five, ten minutes, give it to them, and then you get paid an extra like five, ten K. For one night, they don't like taste nasty or anything like that. Like, I, I, I just sometimes use saran wrap oh, and I just put it over it, so like, you're not actually touching anything. And they don't know; they're old. They're like, I take their glasses off. You know what I mean? They're older, man. I mean, sometimes if you just you give it to them right, you don't even have to go down. He's really you, know what I mean? you got like a girlfriend or anything? No, it's stupid. Yeah. So just think of your girlfriend, man. Imagine her while you're doing it. Yeah. Put a pillow over her face or something. Put a pillow over her face, man. Yeah. She don't mind that. Nah, these girls, they're, they're old, man. Turn the lights off, I don't see anything. Yeah, exactly. You know, we get out complimenting. Yeah, oh, if you're God. having trouble yeah. or stuff, because they're old. Nah, we won't have a problem with that. If the lights are over, God damn, I don't know how you hey, just how to use that money. Yeah. I just had this girlfriend, man. I'm really thinking about marrying her. Yeah. It's a serious thing, so. Just think about this way, you know, like actors like Brad Pitt and stuff, yeah. they're married and stuff, but they, they still do kissing scenes or like these scenes, scenes and stuff. It just, it's just a job. You just do it, you get paid. You can spend that money back on your girlfriend. Think about it, if you buy her a $20,000 engagement ring, you think she's gonna care? You know what I mean? Man, this is like something I've been very telling you. I can't believe this is like real life. Yeah, it's real life, man. Just sad you should get that money. So he's really thinking about doing this? I was a little shocked when Daisy's boyfriend went for it, but also kind of happy. We'll never have to work another day at that restaurant. That's what we do. The next step is you pretty much sign up with us. Yeah. Once you fill this out, we'll connect you uh, on our site with these older ladies. Then they'll reach out to us who they want to take on dates. If they select you, then we. And it's illegal. No. Yeah, it's not illegal. You're just going on a date. There's nothing illegal about that. My other buddy Sam used to do this, but they didn't. They didn't like. He wasn't very good, so they, he didn't get paid too much. You're athletic. You're in shape. You know. Just sign right here. Yeah. Sign right there. And initials right here. And then go ahead and date at the bottom. All right, man. It was pretty hardcore that Daisy's boyfriend cheated on her. I and mean, if he cheated on her, then what are the rest of us going to do? To you. Does he Yeah, there's something about you shooting me about my mama house or something like that. Yeah, like, all the right reasons. Yeah. Hey, I'm actually right here. I'm just sick to know. Are we okay that shot, though? I don't know. He zoomed into my man's <laughs> Her boyfriend did have a cute <laughs> though. <laughs> and it made me uncomfortable how Monique kept checking out his Daisy's boyfriend's cute, but he's obviously a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's over. I'm gonna call my dad the minute I get out of here and I'm gonna tell him what you did and you will be fired, your ass will be canned, you will be on the street. It all seemed like he was doing it because he wanted to do things for you. It seemed like you were kind of like the central thought behind it. Yeah. He wants to get you a ring. When he said the ring, yeah. he's like yeah. really like... Because it could be this other thing where you might feel intimidated because your dad makes a lot of money. He wants to continue your lifestyle. Everyone was so supportive of Daisy's boyfriend and he fails. My boyfriend, Doug, passes. No one's happy for me. I don't know, like he was so down for the money. I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of happy he cheated on her. What do you think? Did he pass? Did he fail? Mm -hmm. Is he a gold digger? Yes. I don't like Daisy. I'm trying to be her friend, but she's just a two-faced bitch. You've been pretty quiet. What do you think? Objectively, I don't think he passed because he went with the steal. Yeah. But I do think he was just in a desperate situation and that, you know, on the bright side, he does care about you and is doing it for you. Sue, sitting at the end all smug, and I'm like, your boyfriend barely passed. You have nothing to be proud of. It's like, are you not willing to work for money? Are you not? Oh, no, bro. You want to work for money. <laughs> yeah, for five minutes. What do you think, Sam? How did you do? Uh, I think he failed, man. <laughs> yeah, no offense, but he said he's a old lady. That was pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, she's 72. Let me tell you, he's never gonna have a golden this again, so. No. This Meredith woman, she's old, she's crusty, but she's still out here. I feel like that's what Daisy's future is gonna be like. So after seeing this footage, how do you think, I guess, Doug did with Sue over here? I mean, I still think he failed. He came. I mean, she is kind of a bad how these girls, I think they're wonders are going to do. Did you guys have best luck? I think so. I haven't been 
been single in so long. I just have such a thing for bad boys though. Is Louis single? All right, girls, well, let's, uh, let's all stand up and see if we can rotate one more time here. I hope you guys liked that episode. Next week, we're going to find out how the rest of the girls did. I don't like Veronica. I don't like her boyfriend. I don't even need to see the footage. I know he fails. I'm I'm it. Why? Why? I don't know what these are laughing at. My boyfriend's the Every girl secretly wants to date a thug. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on the rest of the results. Also, remember to hit the like button so we can continue making content. Let's get today's video to 30,000 likes. If you guys are true fans of the show, make sure to check us out on our website. As always, we have uncensored content for you guys to view. These episodes are actually released a day in advance on our website. So if you guys want to see them there first, like a true fan, check it out on the website. It's free to subscribe to. Turn around so I can look at your <gasps> Did he actually say that? Hey, Big D here from Justice Warriors. We have a new video out on our channel. This mother confronts her son sexually harassing employees at his job site. You won't believe what we catch him doing and how his mother reacts. Oh my god. You won't believe this crazy animation we found on YouTube. It's Robin Williams' genie versus Will Smith's genie. Make sure you check it out. The link is in the description. You don't want to miss a sick animation.